I was, I, we, 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 we were talking earlier about um, how, like, the, there's more to what we do than just the money. You know, like, there's riches in other ways. And that's not a popular message at conferences. That's not a message that I've shared personally as much. However, I can tell you that my father has been in the insurance industry for 32 years. This April, April 1st. And yeah, he's made a ton of money, but he's been able to give us four kids the life he wanted. He's been able to take our family on vacations every single year. Like he, he's, he's, he's been able to um, get to where we can go and travel to some different properties. Like he's got to where um, it's able to keep our family closer forever, which I'm 30 now. Maybe I didn't understand that in my 20s. Uh, you know, maybe a just crazy shift in, in one day. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I'm starting to like understand and appreciate some of that stuff. You know, like that's, it's, it's not something that, uh, but this industry created that possibility. Like I shared it recently. I shared it recently how only 4% of companies in the U.S. earn seven figures a year. But there are more millionaires in our industry than any other industry in the world. But they're rich in a lot of other ways outside of just money. You know, like we have the financial freedom. Like I was telling at the training earlier, like my, 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 my in-laws, um, once I got married, told my wife, like, why doesn't Cody go get a real job? <laughs> I don't think they're saying that anymore. You know, <laughs> like that, that's what's so amazing about the opportunity we have and what we're doing. Like I can't think of another industry on planet Earth that actually helps people as much as this one. I just can't, you know, like I, I, I talked about how, uh, for those that weren't there, we had a, we had a family friend pass away December 26th of 2020. My mom's best friend's husband. And the first thing that came to my mind is, did they have life insurance? Right? Well, the reason I asked that question is they were on my warm market list 10 years ago. And I didn't put forth the effort, the skill, the time, the follow-up, et cetera, to, to make sure that I helped them. And I was internally disappointed with my effort 10 years ago because that just happened December 26, 2020, and I've been in insurance since then, and, and, and they were on more market list. Well, what happened is, fortunately, they have a ton of life insurance accident policies, like they're, they're well taken care of. But if I would have been a little more persistent, followed up a little harder and done the right thing, they would probably have more. Because what I'm learning is, like I just upped my own personal life insurance to, I think I have a couple policies, um, but like five or six million bucks. And the reason is, which sounds like a lot of money. My wife, and I live a great life. That's not going to carry me. That's not going to carry her for much more than like a several years or maybe a decade. Like that's just, that's just not. So I, I'm, what I'm learning is no matter how much life insurance or how much we help people, we're putting a better situation, but it's never enough. You know, like whatever this family had that I don't even know, I haven't asked my mom, life insurance wise, it, it, it's not enough. It's not enough. One of the things that's fast forwarded, I felt like personally has fast forwarded my career the last three years is things like this. And Tony talked about it at, at, at the training, how this was not available 17 years ago and how it, it didn't happen, you know? And it's like, if, if I can encourage you to do anything in 2021, it's do more of this, you know? Like, like Joe's eventually probably gonna start rolling these out across the country, who knows? We're already talking about San Antonio. Where's there we Ron? go, right? There we go. Where is, where is Ron? They're gonna start doing this. He's been doing it every month. This is special, right? Like this isn't about like you guys getting together and everybody you know selling each other and recruiting each other and everything else. Like th this is about like I am going to pick up a nugget. I'm gonna pick up a relationship. I'm gonna learn something from somebody. I'm gonna be able to take something that somebody says and go back and my in income's gonna go up because there's I'll be able to help more people because of it. Because 92% of insurance agents fail, which is why we have a conference called 8% Nation. And the reason why 92% of agents fail 
is they don't know what a lot of you know. And so as a new agent, if you're here, like who's been in the industry for less than three years? Who's been in the industry less than two years? Who's been in the industry less than a year? Nice. You're in the right room. That's awesome. You're in there. Yeah, give them a hand. And that, you know, and, and part of that too, I want to piggyback on that because I think events like this, even 8% or even a small hangout or, or whatever, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. You know, I think networking itself can be awkward, right? So it, it's, mm -hmm. it takes a certain level of uncomfortability to go out and like, dude, I don't even necessarily know what I'm talking about, but I got to go meet with these people and network with them and, and communicate in a way to where I'm like, hey, I, I, not necessarily I need help, but I just want to learn from you. It's uncomfortable. It, it can be tough um, to where, man, kudos to you, dude. Like you've been in less than a year. The fact that you already have on your mind, and I know you already, you're about to do stuff with Cody um, and just being here. Like what Cody said in the training, which you showed up, and that showing up is just the most important part, man. It's like, as long as you show up, dude, it can be awkward. You know, <laughs> like just just soak it in and just absorb that, man. I, I love that, dude. The fact that you've been in less than a year and you already are grasping the fact that like you need to surround yourself with like-minded people. Even, um, where'd Brandon go? Um, Brandon, who was sitting just right here, I just met him maybe three or four weeks ago um, to where literally he was just like, dude, I just want to get lunch. And I'm like, all right, let's do it like right now. Let's go today. So we go get lunch, I get a call, and it's actually from a guy who wanted health insurance and he's a multimillionaire that I'm good friends with. So I sent him to Brandon. Now Brandon has now made like almost five grand revenue wow. because of just going to lunch with me. And now I have a, now not only do I have a peer in, in the industry or some a referral partner, I have a friend. I also, hey dude, you coming to the event? Oh yeah, man, for sure. And I was like, dude, sign up for Cody's thing too. So he didn't, he signed up for Cody's thing. And what do you know? Now he's going to benefit from Cody's services as well. Thanks, and it's just simple word of mouth. I mean, that, that yeah. is literally what networking comes down to. It's like just talking. Like sometimes you just got to get out there, get out of your comfort zone a little bit. You know, dad always, this was my, I always preach this. And it's like what changed my life is that the Bill, the Bill Gates of this world were not made in their comfort zones. They, mm. they, they weren't, right? So then what can I do? If I'm not good at speaking, like then work on it. But you are, you are though. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, hey, my, my goal is speaking at eight percent. But there you anyways, go. Anyways, um, so if you could give us, I think I, I think I know somebody. Yeah, I think I know somebody. Andy, uh, I'll be in touch. <laughs> there you go. He's like, dude, come on, I'm already swamped. Uh, no, if you could give, if you could give one nugget, uh, one nugget um, that you would give to anybody, regardless of industry um, or the vertical within the industry, to level up their agency, what what would that be? Oh, if I had to give just one, and also while I'm thinking, um, thank you and Tony for all the nice things you guys said about me, but, but at the end of the day, um, for those that don't know me, it's not about me, you know? Um, like, I, I'm a part of this industry and doing the things I am and writing down, I want to help every insurance agent in the world every single day because I, I really want to. And I've seen how much it's helped others by doing that, you know? And so I had to think of like, okay, w one nugget, specifically that's going to help it is i would say the the absolute best thing i could say is make a decision and commit to doing something this year something big something that scares you to death something that you, you wake up and there is massive amounts of fear and the second piece of that though is you have to i shared this in the training you have to go tell everyone it's going to happen because i'm telling you that's when something special starts to happen is when i get past and get past operating in a place of fear and I put out that I'm gonna do X, 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 and then I tell everyone that it's going to happen, it forces me to wake up. And so if you're in a spot where you're like, dude, I need to wake up, man. I need to level up. I need to go all in. I need, I need, to, I need to show I got some guts. I need to, I need to make 2021 special because 2020 sucked maybe, right? I don't know. If that's true, then the answer is commit to doing something immediately that scares you to death. That's good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Everybody Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, and you're, uh, I'm going to on it for you, too. Boom. Boom. <laughs> We're a true family business. I love uh, it. Thank you, buddy. Our... Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Most insurance agents wake up. We get in the office. It's 9 a.m. I'm going to get some coffee. I'm going to go talk to Susie by the printer. I'm going to go hang out with Joe in his office. I'm going to go to two-hour lunch. I need to make calls, but uh, I, you know what? I don't know. I need to get all the details there. I need.